The Bank, Episode 5. Hairdresser. Nikki's having her hair done. Hairdresser Maria, the hairdresser. Nikki, Jim prefers me standing on my feet since I have the twins. There's enough baby fat float. Floating around to buoy the... Like they're predicting, similar to the one they had on the East Coast during our dance-off. Nikki. Maria, you made it then. Maria, we're out of our minds thrilled. Just have to squeeze into my costume. Practicing holding my breath. <gasps> Helen, not a hairdresser. Normally wouldn't imagine the lungs would take up too much space, but in Maria's case, there's only one that can out-talk her. Mrs. Marmy walks in. Hello, ladies. Nikki's standing up. I may need more than the strands of my hair glued together in the next few months. Touching her stomach. Maria. Mrs. Marmy, do you know Nikki? Her husband is Pete Kerwood. A teller at the bank where your mark is. Mrs. Marmy. Oh, yes. I know Pete. Maria. Nikki's pregnant. They're having a baby. Mrs. Mombi having her hair done. In the salon is a show called the Morgan Fabulous Show. So Morgan comes out. She's a woman. She's kind of sophisticated, good looking. The Morgan Fabulous Show. Morgan Fabulous enters with a hairbrush stuck in her hair. Audience. No, pardon me. Morgan. I met someone today that everybody in the world should know about. You know, she's on stage talking to the audience. Audience. Why? Are you in love? Morgan. The organ. Mm, the organ's always in love. No, it's more than that, ladies. I met a Mrs. Marmby. And the television is also in the background with Marjorie and Cynthia at the bank. Marjorie. Cynthia, you look tied out. Are you okay? Cynthia, I'm filling in at my old job while Noreen takes a few days holiday. The Morgan Fabulous show in the background, the audience. Isn't it the annual What Are We Thankful For This Year? Someone in the audience says, Is this show being taped? Fabulous. I tape everything, baby. Fabulous addresses screen off sight. Mr. Ooze, what are you secretly being thankful for while you're carving up the turkey? Mr. Ooze, I'd rather not say, tear, fabulous. Tear, fabulous. Let's give Mr. Ooze a minute. So Mr. Ooze continues. Mr. Ooze. The most infrequent question I'm asked is why did I pursue the anchor desk? Pulling my suspenders back, I begin my tale. It wasn't a tale of two cities, though some and I for one agree with them. It might have been. No, it was a flashback. Ooze is a baby being held by the babysitter as she watched her favorite show, The News. Ooze. In between the towers, or at the threshold, mon ami, I wanted to rise up and take hold. I plan my whole future in between, pause, tear, the national and international newsies. People often comment what a well-read man I am. Well, yes, I can read them turning a corner 60 miles an hour on the freeway highway. Freeway, highway, catching a glimpse of a woman's boobs. That's why they call me the Speedway. Ooze continues. It's not all roses. That's why I'm anchoring myself in every city with the PSA, the personal service announcement. Ooze continues. Check your breasts. Check them several times a day, whispering. Even if they're not yours, 
yet. Ooze continues. When they were there, within reach, so easy. I thought I was too young. Not today. Ooze continues. I standing up. I want everyone to meet the babysitter. Woman on screen. Flashback. Ooze in anchor suit. Knocks on her door with flowers. He's going back with, you know, he's successful now. He's going back to see her. Unfortunately, on the day she returns home from the hospital after a mastectomy, the woman lifts her shirt for the audience. Ooze howls. A panelist leaves almost. Fabulous. All the proceeds, all the proceeds are being donated to the bank. Showing microfiber technical things. There's a commercial. With us, we consider your banking personal. A woman online deciding the man, decides which man she wants to be served by. Cynthia, the, t- the till to Mark walking by. Cynthia, Mark, your mom looked fabulous on the telly. Mark, mom, mom's always up for a good cause. 